Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a first impressions video on a new palette from a indie makeup brand. This is the Pastel Pup palette from Menagerie Cosmetics and I was super lucky and got put on their PR list so I'm so excited to try this palette out today. You guys know pastels have definitely had their moment this spring and I've definitely struggled with pastels. I've had my fair share, but I now own the P. Louise base and this baby has been a game changer, let me tell you. So they included the palette and then they also included some beautiful liquid lipsticks. They have a wonderful range of liquid lipsticks, so many fun colors and stuff. I haven't even opened all of them yet, but look at this packaging, you guys. How adorable. And they sent me a bunch of shades, so I'm so excited to try those out. And then they sent me, this is a formula, they called it the Trifoil. I can't remember exactly what they call this, but it's a formula of theirs that just looked like very beautiful and shimmery. This packaging is so stunning. And then they also sent me their Soft Focus Setting Powder. Look at this beautiful packaging. I love and then I've owned palettes from them previously and I've accumulated a few more as well so I have their whale song palette which looks like this if you are newer to this brand they have really beautiful packaging and all of their palettes are like animal themed so this is the whale song it's so pretty and next I have the violet ink palette I picked this up um, on Black Friday and it's stunning. It's like a mini palette from them and I put it in a video where I did like the battle of the purple mini palettes and then their latest launch before Pastel Pup was this beautiful palette. This is the Killer Purr and I wasn't gonna get it but I'm such a sucker and this beautiful packaging totally sucked me in so as you guys can see I'm a huge fan. I'm so pumped that I am able to receive this palette as PR and so I thought I should definitely film a video and try and put a look together for you guys. So I do have playlists you guys. Most brands that I talk about here on my channel get it their own playlist. So I'll try and remember to link that for you guys but if you're ever looking for multiple videos on a brand you can definitely search my playlist and I also do stuff on different topics like I have a will I buy it playlist, anti-haul playlist, low buy playlist, like if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, um, just search my playlist. But okay, enough blabbering, let's swatch. Actually, let's swatch the palette first because I have not made, made up my mind on what I'm going to do with it yet. It's so pretty, it's so cute and these are so well made the cardboard is beautiful okay oh, i'm so excited okay first shade is called belly slide then we have cuddle and then we have snack so here are those first three shades so there's the swatches wow those are so pretty oh my gosh it's a little flaky there's the next row <sighs> I saw Butte Bin already has a video up on this palette. Wow, that green shade, ah, so cute. Okay, and then here is the next row. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys the names of the shades. So these shades are Ice Worm, Aquatic, and Ice Cap. Okay, and then starting from the top, we have Belly Slide, Cuddle, Snack, Fishy, Sunbathe is the yellow, the green is Flipper, and then Ice Worm, Aquatic, and Ice Cap. So there's the swatches, oh my gosh. And then it has a beautiful shimmer blue called Snowball. Oh my God, it's a duochrome shade. Okay, this shade is called Snowball. Oh my God, do you guys see that? It's a duochrome, it's so beautiful. And then there's a white and a black. So that's Snowball, Saddleback, and Whisker. And there's those shades. So here are all of the swatches. You guys can see. Let me cover up my eyes so it focuses on my hand. <laughs> but yeah, these are gorgeous. Oh my god, what should I do? Oh man, I was thinking 
maybe the first three shades but now the blues <gasps> oh, okay anyways Okay, that should help the shades really pop on my skin tone. Brown people problems, guys. <laughs> Let me know if you can relate. I know most of you can um, because I think a majority of my audience is tan. Okay, I kind of want to tap on shadows. So I think I'm going to try this brush. This is a Sigma E25. I think I'm going to go into this pink shade, so I'm going to press. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good blend, but I know with pastels, most people's recommendation is a tap and press, and then also a white base, and not to blend too much. Okay, okay. I kind of want to do like a pastel rainbow kind of look, so we'll see. I like that color. It's so cute. Okay, so next I kind of want to use the beautiful corally orange peachy shade. So I'm going to put that in the next half. So I'm going to go on the lid to this. It's a little patchy. I don't know if my eyeball is just a little dry, but that's okay. And then I want to use the shade Belly Slide, which is the purple. I think I'm just going to do three shades. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Just really simple. And then we'll do something on the lower lash line as well. So let me put my foundation on and stuff. And then I'll come back. We'll do the lower lash line. I want to try their translucent powder as well as a lip color. Okay, guys. So I got my foundation on. I did try to clean up with some concealer. I think you can still see a little bit of white. But, of course, I'm not going anywhere after this. So... I'm not trying to do like the most most, but anyway, I really like the eye look now. I feel like it's popping once I got all my skin texture evened out and stuff like that. And then I did put a little bit of concealer on in my under eyes so we can try the translucent powder. And I'm so glad they sent me a powder because it's always fun to try new powders, but I'm also trying to like finish stuff up in my collection. So it's nice that I got sent one to try, you know? So anyway, let me just show you really quick. So that's what the inside looks like. There's a nice stopper here. And I'm going to pull this little thing out. It's a bunch of powder already sitting on the inside. Ooh. It's got like a little mesh. So I'm just going to place that in my under eye just to set it. And I'll try and formulate some thoughts on the powder and maybe just like add that in in a future video. Once I test it out, definitely want to wear it to work and stuff like that. I won't be able to tell you guys much from wearing it at home, in my opinion. So yeah, but I like that. It has a nice stopper, nice packaging, very beautiful. And you guys know I love green, so super cute camouflage soft focus setting powder i'll try and remember link all the stuff so you guys can check it out and then of course my brows like the rest of the world are currently living their best life and i just put some essence brow powder through them that's all i'm doing with them <laughs> i can't i don't care it's fine it's just brows okay so i'm gonna pick a color for my waterline and then we're gonna put some more P. Louise base down just to help everything pop and let's go from there. 
Okay guys, so I put in Linda Hallberry's green pencil in calm mood in my waterline and I've never done this before. I'm gonna go into the shade Flipper with this skinny pencil brush. kind of subtle what do you guys think and then I grab their shimmer shadows that they sent me the trifoils and I'm gonna go into this pink shade called bunny trifoil and I'm just gonna use that same pencil <gasps> Pretty. and I'm just gonna use that as my inner corner highlight So fun. Okay, I'm gonna try the green too. I'm gonna put the green on the lower lash line. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me swatch these guys for you. Actually, let me show them to you real close first. That's what they look like. There's what they look like on my fingers. So there they are. Swatch the yellow one is Chicky. The green one is Turtle Club. And then the pink one is bunny. Stunning! Okay, so I have like my highlight and everything done. I just wanna spray my face quick and then we'll do lip colors next. Just wanna shout out my highlight. Been loving this. This is the Fenty Pearl. I just go like that. I don't know, it's like a little lipstick and then I just use this little Dual fiber contour brush from Real Techniques and like it gives the nicest like most subtle like my face is wet but what is it kind of look I really like it so anyway mascara and we'll be back for a lip color okay guys what a difference mascara makes it's insane okay so they were so kind and generous and sent me eight lip colors and I don't think I'm gonna keep all of these. I think I should probably pass them on because there's quite a few purples, which so many different shades. How fun is that? You guys may already know the shade that's calling to me is definitely this guy because I love a good terracotta nude. This is terracotta, which I remember wanting this shade when they launched these. I just try not to buy every lip color ever. And then pink. <sighs> Pachyderm, which is a pretty mob. I think I'm gonna go brown. They also send me this green color, which I definitely wanna keep juniper. <gasps> How fun. So, definitely look forward to trying that. But yeah, so many beautiful shades. Let's try terracotta. I've never tried their lip formula. Look at this, look at this doe foot. That's beautiful. Ooh, I like it. So that's the shade Terracotta. Oh my God. Uh, wow, I really like how this whole situation turned out. I'm really, really impressed. I was so nervous to try pastels, you guys, because the last pastels I tried on camera were like the Creepy Cute palette from Shroud Cosmetics and I wasn't like, 100% obsessed with it, but I definitely think everyone that gave me feedback from that time was right Like I do really need a white base to make them stand out on my skin tone and honestly P. Louise is my favorite. I've tried a lot of different eye bases and I really like P. Louise I know they got a lot of hype on YouTube and I feel like the hype is for good reason. So I am so happy with all my new stuff that I just tried today. This palette is so cute. I believe it is currently sold out. So get on to Menagerie and keep an eye out for this guy if you're in the market for a pastel palette. I am planning on filming a ranking my pastel palettes video for you guys real soon. I do need to like test some palettes out a little bit more. I haven't been wearing makeup because I am still working because I am able to do that. So I don't have any like quarantine free time to like 
put towards my channel right now but I'm thinking of all of you guys that are home that are social distancing I hope you are well and let me know your thoughts on this particular palette but yeah I just went off on a tangent what I meant to say was I will be doing a ranking my pastel palette so look forward to that thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you guys are having a good day a productive day and I'm thinking about you guys and I will see you in my next video soon bye guys <laughs>